All right, yo, what's going on, you guys? I'm Parts, and welcome to another Call of Duty Vanguard video, where today we'll be taking a look at one of our operators, which will be Paulina of the Shadow Unit for today's video, along with the rewards you guys get for leveling her up and what happens when you guys max out this operator. And also here on the channel, I've got several other operator videos uploaded here and ready and available for you guys to check out as well if you guys were ever curious about certain things regarding those specific operators. So feel free to go ahead and check those videos out as well. But just before we hop right into this video, if you guys could drop that early like for me on the video, that would be absolutely great as it always helps out both the video here and the channel as well and while you guys are down there leave a comment down below and let me know which of the operators in Call of Duty Vanguard are your favorite and why I know you guys haven't been really asking me but for me my favorite operator is Shiganori and we're gonna be covering him here on the channel sometime soon but I would love to hear which one is your favorites and why but with that said let's get right into the video so with every operator including Polina they have a set of four regular challenges you guys can complete and for each of those challenges they have three stages to complete that accumulate with higher XP rewards and then finally you have your progression rewards for leveling up your operator from level 1 to 20 so in our case of Polina her four regular challenges will consist of the following the first is going to be to complete three five and ten finishing moves as Polina the second challenge is going to be to get 10 15 and 30 kills while holding your breath as Polina and then the third challenge is going to be to get 50 100 and 150 kills as Polina and then finally the fourth challenge here is going to be to get three five and ten wins as Polina and of course with each tier for each challenge you'll receive 1,000, 1,500, and 2,500 XP as your rewards. Now moving on to the progression rewards, there are 20 levels you need to progress through and your operators automatically start at level 1, so you technically only need to level through 19 levels to hit the max level of an operator. And as for the actual leveling aspect of your operators, obviously including Polina here, sometimes we have long weekend events where they provide double XP towards almost everything like double leveling XP, double weapon XP, double clan XP, double battle pass tier XP, and of course double operator XP. So be sure to be keeping updated with all of those weekend events because sometimes they actually start a little bit early as early as Thursdays or Fridays so those are perfect opportunities for you guys to grind out the game a little bit early before the long weekend and along with that we do have double operator tokens just like the double weapon XP tokens and double XP tokens we now have that double operator XP tokens however because at the time of me recording this video which is still within the preseason of Vanguard and we're only a few days away from season one there's bound to be some sort of updates regarding on how to get more of these double operator XP tokens if you guys are still lacking in leveling up your operator Operators, but until then, I'll update you guys for that in a future video. And so with that said, here are your progressive rewards for all 20 levels for Polina. So starting at level 2 here, it's all over now Operator Equip, which is going to sound like this. Shh, it's all over now. Here at level 3, you're going to get 1500 XP. Going on to level 4, you guys are going to get the Crimson Curse Calling Card, as you guys can see here. And then going into level 5, you guys are going to get the Gutted Operator MVP Highlight, which is going to look like this. Moving into level 6, you guys are going to get 1000 XP, or actually weapon XP I should say, for the 3 line rifle. So if you guys haven't been using that already, there's going to be free XP, free levels towards that 3 line rifle, sniper rifle for you guys to use. This way, if you guys haven't been using it already, this is free stuff right there and hopefully free attachments to use. So you guys don't have to use it raw if it's not that great of a sniper rifle already. And I actually haven't been tapping my fingers into the sniper rifles just yet. So down in the comments below, actually let me know if the 3 line rifle is actually pretty good or not good at all in this game so far but then going into level 7 we get the tapped keg sticker as you guys can see here and then going into level 8 you guys get 2000 xp towards regular leveling going into level 9 you guys get the vengeful emblem as you guys can see here and then going into level 10 you guys get the bolt action operator skin which is going to be the first of two that you guys get for unlocking all of these progressive rewards so there you guys go and then going into level 11 you guys get the nightingale charm which you guys can see on the side of the weapon here and then moving into level 12 you guys get 1500 weapon xp again for the three line rifle or sniper rifle again if you guys haven't leveled it up already or maxed it out that's free levels right there free weapon xp for the weapon to get you guys those free attachments going into level 13 you guys get 2500 regular leveling xp going into level 14 you guys get the death's messenger operator equip which sounds like this i am not death i am its messenger Moving into level 15, you guys get the hard scope operator intro, which looks like this.
And then at level 16, you guys get finally the last amount of weapon XP you guys are going to get for the three line rifle. You guys are going to be getting a whopping 2000 weapon XP for the three line rifle again free XP, free levels, free attachments pretty much for just unlocking and leveling up this operator. So there you guys go. And then going into level 17, you guys get the vicious finishing move, which is going to look like this. And then rounding out the last few levels here at level 18, you guys are going to get a whopping 3000 XP towards your regular leveling. And then going into level 19, you guys are going to get the headshot spray, which is going to look like this here. And then ending it off at level 20, you guys get the azimuth operator skin, which is going to be the last one here for Polina that you guys can unlock. And there you guys go. Now to end things off here, I'm sure you guys are still wondering on one of the bigger questions, what happens when you guys max out an operator, meaning the maxing out of their level, obtaining all the level progression rewards and completing all four of those regular challenges what happens at the end and the answer to that is unfortunately you guys don't actually get anything special for maxing out your operators no calling cards no emblems no secret weapon blueprints or anything like that at all which is a little bit unfortunate because i have mentioned in previous call of duty videos here for call of duty world war ii they had special rewards you guys would get for completing those divisions out if you guys could remember that way back in the day if you guys played it but unfortunately this time around there's nothing available at the end however if you guys do max out all three of your operators within the same unit you do get a mastery reward which includes an exclusive player title and an exclusive operator skin but for more information on that you guys can check out the videos i've already made here on the channel talking about that for all of the other divisions so far and so there you guys have it that's everything you need to know about your challenges and progression rewards for the operator polina and of course all the other remaining operators are uploaded here on the channel already so feel free to go ahead and check those out but let's about wrap it up for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you out or maybe even both consider dropping that like for me on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button that way you guys don't miss out when i upload a new call of duty vanguard video here to the channel and for all my other social media links like twitter twitch discord and more all of that will be linked down in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching catch you on the flip side arts out